Hi, I'm Shannon. Welcome. I'm doing a recorded class today, a 30 minute kind of a get started in the morning, maybe class or maybe midday where you feel a little sluggish and you want to move a little bit. Not necessarily a flow class. I don't move in and out too quickly. We go very slow and methodically through our poses, but movement nonetheless. So enjoy. Find a comfortable spot and have a seat. If you notice, I typically get a blanket, sit on top of a blanket. Sometimes I'll take two blocks, cover it with a blanket, prop myself up. Heck, sometimes I get a chair and just sit in the chair. So whatever feels comfortable for you. If you feel like you're really down low, your knees are up really high, then you want to prop yourself up a little bit. Take a few moments here. Make sure you're comfortable. Roll your shoulders up to your ears. Roll them back and down. And let your hands rest either on your knees or your legs. Close your eyes or soft gaze works as well. And begin to deepen your breath. And just as importantly as listening to your inhale, listen for your exhale. Make sure it's as long as your inhale or sometimes maybe even longer. Try to breathe in through your nose. And a steady exhale out through your nose. Feel the temperature in the room, and the way it feels on your skin. Feel the way your clothes move as you inhale and exhale. And allow the sounds around you, whether they be the air conditioner or maybe someone else talking, having their own meeting in another room, or maybe a pet click clacking across the hardwood floor. Those are all wonderful, beautiful sounds. Allow them to be part of your day but maybe not part of this practice. You hear them, but they are just sounds. Lift your palms to your chest. Press your palms together. Draw your thumbs to your sternum. Lightly lift your collarbones, spread your shoulders wide, and hug your shoulder blades in. Take a full breath in through your nose. Release it through your mouth. And we'll chant Aum. Oh, inhale. Oh. Bow your chin towards your chest. And release your hands to your legs. Slowly float your eyes open and lift your gaze. Thank y'all for being here. All right, let's come onto our hands and knees. If you've got a blanket, it's nice to cushion your knees a little bit so that you're not right on your knee bones. That sometimes can be more distracting than the pose itself. So bring your knees onto something that has some cushion. Go grab a towel, maybe a bath towel or beach towel. You'll, you'll come back, we'll wait on you. 
Widen your knees a little bit, widen your feet. You've come into tabletop, shoulders on top of wrists. Kind of press down into your fingertips a little bit. Sometimes we weigh into our wrists, so push away from the floor. Press your finger pads into the floor until your fingernails start to turn a little white. And then tone your belly. And then notice in the back, if you put like a cup of water right here, would it fall over to one side or the other? So a neutral pelvis. Lift your gaze slightly, reach out through the crown of your head, and we'll take a few cat and cows here. So inhale, lift your chest, almost as if you were gonna draw your chest forward. And then exhale, push away from the floor, and as if your ribs were gonna reach up to the sky, press away from the floor, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Come back down, neutral tabletop. Lift your chest, lift your tailbone, and even feel like you're dragging the heels of your hands towards your knees. There's your inhale. And then exhale, push away from the floor. Think of an angry cat. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, tone your abdomen. And a couple of more like that. As you lift your chest, feel like you're reaching your chest forward. Exhale, reaching up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral. Bring your big toes to touch. Widen your knees, almost as wide as the mat or at least wider than your hips. Make some space for your abdomen. Walk your hands to the top of the mat. Lift your chest for a moment, so give yourself some space, and then as you exhale, draw your hips, hips, hips towards your heels and bring your forehead to the floor. Walk your fingertips a little bit further ahead of you. Plant your palms down, lift your arm bones up, stretch back until your spine feels long and you have space in your side body. You're welcome to rest your elbows or keep them lifted. Take a few breaths here. Long, full inhale. And exhale out. There is something quiet and still about bowing your head. Slide back up. Keep your hands forward of your shoulders. Walk your knees back a little bit. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips, press up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now, if you started doing this practice in the morning, you may feel a little stiff. So widen your feet as wide as the mat and bend your knees. Lift your heels up. And then push away from the floor like you're trying to bring your chest towards your thighs. You feel like you're gonna crouch a little bit or hop. But once you get here, start to straighten your legs. Take your thighs back towards the wall behind you. Ears are next to your biceps. Feel your biceps rolling away from your ears. Tone your belly. Press your heels slightly down. You are in down dog. You could pedal out a little bit by pressing one leg straight while you bend the opposite and then switching. Lift your heels, bend your knees, bring your chest towards your thighs, straighten your legs, reach up and back and feel your spine getting longer. Look up at your hands and walk your feet to the top of the mat. Sit your hips back like you're gonna sit in a chair. Bring your belly on top of your thighs and begin to fold. So it's gonna feel like you're definitely crouching even here, the same kind of sensation. Once you get there, bring your hands next to your feet on each side, tense your fingertips, and start to straighten your legs. Don't lose the contact of your belly on your thighs. Tone your legs. Feel like you're dragging your heels up towards your hips. Let the crown of your head be heavy. 
you know, space in the back of your neck and maybe nod a few times, no and yes. Take your fingertips in front of your toes, extend your spine, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. There's an inhale here. And then as you exhale, squeeze your abdomen onto your thighs again. Let the crown of your head be heavy. Move your hands to the sides of your feet. Push your fingertips into the mat, like you're gonna push the mat down into the floor and try to lengthen your legs a little bit more. Bring your hands to your hips, slide your shoulder blades down, look forward and come all the way up. All right, we weren't down there very long. Go ahead and move your blanket off of your mat and come to the middle of your mat. Come to the middle of your mat, maybe separate your feet about as wide as your hips and take your hands onto your waist. And we're just gonna nod a few times. So look over to the right and look over to the left. And just do that a few times. Go slow, you don't wanna get dizzy. Forgot to mention, if you wanna play some music, hopefully you have something near you you could turn on. Nod a few times. and bring your gaze forward. For some of us, that's easy peasy, and for others, you feel some stiff and tightness up in your neck. Okay, let's move our hips a little bit. So just start to make circles with your hips. One way, and then switch. We're just warming up this morning. Maybe you pick a Saturday or a Sunday, to do a little warm up for the day. And stand up straight. Take your right arm and make big, big circles. Try to keep your body forward, so don't swing with it. See if you can keep your body forward and let all the motion happen right up in your shoulder joint. Switch directions. You might even external and internal rotation of your arm. And keep your arm lifted and bring it down by your side, other side. You could start here, but then as you turn, bring your fingertips back behind you. Try not to spin your body, maybe keep your hand on your waist. And if you notice, I'm doing a little internal external rotation here. Go the opposite way. Turn your palm up, externally rotate. Good. And one of my favorite things to do, kind of irritate some of my students, but it's fun and you can laugh about it. I want you to try to take your arms in opposite directions. So one arm comes up and one arm goes back. Try to take them in opposite directions. It'll feel a little bit like you are sliding your shoulder blades apart from each other, a little bit like uh, tectonic plates or shifting. Let's try to do it the other way. I'm not sure if I can. Sometimes my mind will let me and other times it won't. Opposite directions. Just laugh it off. Do whatever your arms wanna do. Good. Take your arms up overhead. Interlace your hands up to the webbing and press your palms up to the sky. Feet are forward, knees, ankles, and third toe are in line. So you might look down and see if your feet are facing forward. Sometimes they turn out. So we'll do a few crescent poses here. Bring your hands behind your head. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, reach up and over to the left. Inhale, press up. Exhale, reach down. Inhale. Exhale, over to the right. Hips to the left, hands to the right. 
push into your feet, inhale, lift, exhale, palms behind your head. You might even lean your skull back slightly. One more each side, inhale, exhale, over to the left. Push into your feet, lift up, extend out from your side waist up towards the sky, exhale. Inhale, exhale over to the right. Come all the way up, bend your elbows and stretch your arms down by your sides. Roll your shoulders back. Great, all right. Let's do a few of what I call just mini sun salutations. So come to the top of your mat. And again, separate your feet as wide as your hips. Tone your legs. So remember how earlier I said, feel like you're pulling your heels up towards your buttocks or your hips? What does it feel like to try to drag them up isometrically? Meaning don't do it, but what does it feel like? And it should turn on your hamstrings a little bit. Roll your shoulders back. And we're gonna do a little huddle here. So bend your knees and bring your hands onto your thighs. So I'm not a football player, nor do, was I ever, nor do I try to say that I've ever played football, probably never held a football. But lift your chest like you're in a huddle and you're listening to something. Maybe you were in a volleyball team or a softball team. Lift your chest and straighten your arms, press your skull back a little bit. So you're getting just a little bit of an arc of your spine. So get nice and strong here. As you lift your chest, sit a little bit deeper. Knees will move forward. Feel like you're dragging your heels up towards your hips. And then stand up. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down to your thighs. Come back into your huddle. Try, if you can, to straighten your arms, widen your collarbones. Sit a little bit deeper, don't let your knees knock in. Keep them as wide as your ankles. Lift your chest, press your skull slightly back, and stand up. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to thighs. Inhale, press into your arms until they're nice and long. Widen your collarbones, lift your chest, sit a little bit deeper. And come up. We'll do a four, full forward fold this time. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive. Bring your hands in front of your toes. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Come all the way up, bring your arms up, reverse swan dive, bring your palms to your chest. Inhale, lift, rise, arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive and fold. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms to chest. We're gonna step back this time. Inhale, arms lift up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, extend your spine, extend your legs. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Plant your hands onto the floor, step your right leg back, wiggle it back as far as it will go until your front thigh is parallel to the earth. Plant your right hand down to the floor, bring your left hand to your thigh. You'll get a little bit of a twist here. Take a full breath in, and as you exhale, draw your left shoulder blade back, maybe gaze over your left shoulder. Reach out through your right heel, Bring your knee over your heel, left leg. Lift your left arm up to the sky. Breathe, 
full breath in. Exhale, plant your hand to the left side of your foot. Come back, downward facing dog. Walk your left foot in a little bit, reach your right leg back, bend your right knee, step it forward. You might need to use your hand to help your foot get just a little bit closer to the top edge of the mat. Stretch back through your left leg, bring your right knee right over the heel, plant your left hand, take your right hand to your right thigh, squeeze your right shoulder blade in, take your gaze up, push away from the floor, Tone your belly and squeeze your front heel back and your back toes up until you feel like you have a slight lift of your pelvis. Reach your right arm up, stretch your fingertips up to the sky. Take a breath in, exhale. Plant your hand to the outside of your right foot, step back, downward facing dog. This time, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Walk your feet in a little bit. They are still more than hip width distance apart. Sit back in your chair. So you've got a chair behind you, sit your hips back. Bring your abdomen on top of your thighs. Once you get there, then start to straighten your legs. Take a full breath in. Extend your spine. Half lift, exhale, fold. Bring your hands to your hips. Begin to look forward, come all the way up, release your arms by your sides. All right, come back to the middle of your mat. And bring your fingertips to touch, bend your knees. Some people hop, I do a step. Step out until your legs are wide and your arms are long. Feel your kneecap sliding up. Feel your belly cinching in. Feel your arms expanding out and feel the crown of your head lifting up. Turn your left toes out and turn your right toes in. Bend your left knee. Take a full breath in, and as you exhale, just like we nodded in the beginning, look over your left fingertips. Push into your feet, feel the energy driving from your outer left knee all the way up to your hip socket. Feel even your left knee moving back. Reach your pinky fingers back a little, lift up through the crown of your head, and sit a little bit deeper. Breathe, two full inhale, exhales. Look forward, straighten your left leg, take a full breath in and as you exhale, reach as far over as you can. So left arm reaches, right hip draws as far as it can to the right. Bring your hand down, Turn your palm forward, lift your right arm up. Press the back of your hand maybe into your shin or up into your thigh, not your kneecap. Maybe you can grab your ankle and come down a little bit deeper. Make sure you don't compromise the pose. Draw your right shoulder blade in, draw your pubic bone in, draw your tailbone in. Push into the four corners of your feet, Feel like you're squeezing your heels together. Two breaths in and out. Push a gas pedal with your left foot. Draw yourself all the way back up. Put a slight bend in your left knee so you can turn both feet forward. Arms up overhead. Inhale here. Exhale, palms come down, but chest lifts. Step into Tadasana. Release your hands by your sides. 
Give yourself that energy that comes back when we come back to a straight line versus out into space. Got my heart beating a little bit fast there. Let's do it again. Bring your fingertips to touch, bend your knees. So some people will take a big inhale and jump out. This is me jumping. Come out, take your legs out wide. Feel your kneecap sliding up. Feel that grounding in your feet, but you are lifting everything else up. Reach your fingertips out. Turn your right toes out, right foot out for that matter, and turn your left toes in. Bend your right knee. Now, it would be great if my thigh was parallel, and I could back up the leg a little bit and try to get there, but this is where I'm at. This is the space that I have, and this is the space I take. So, there you go. Take your right hand to the back of your right knee and tone your knee into your hand. What you should feel is energy moving up into your hip as you externally rotate. Reach out through your fingertips. Back leg is strong. Turn like you're nodding and look over your right fingertips. Take a full breath in and exhale. Sit a little bit deeper into your lunge, but still squeeze your heels in, tone your belly, draw your pubic bone slightly in, your tailbone slightly in. Two breaths here. Turn your head forward. Lengthen your right leg. So now you're pushing down and together until you feel action in your legs. Take a breath in. Exhale, reach your right arm over. You'll feel your hips shifting to the left. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can go until you feel like you are lengthening the left side of your body. Bring your hand down, palm facing forward. Lift your left arm up. So there's a few things that can happen. You can dump a little forward and you can feel like you're gonna kind of fall forward. I want you to lift up, draw your left shoulder blade in, extend from the outer left heel all the way up to your armpit, reach up, push away from your heel, pubic bone in, belly button towards your spine, tailbone draws in, take your vision wherever you need it to go, forward, up or down. Breathe, two breaths in, push into your feet, drag your heels together, tone your abdomen, trikonasana. Come all the way up, put a bend into your right leg, turn your toes forward, lift your arms up overhead, inhale, exhale down, chest lifts. Step in and release your hands. All right, come on down to the floor. We have a few more minutes. Like I said, this was a short one today. So we'll take a short meditation sitting up. But if you want to lay down in Shavasana, you're welcome to. You could always just turn me off and keep on going into your Shavasana. Let's do a little bit of a twist. Take your right hand to your left thigh. And then reach your arm up like you're asking a question. Left arm up. Turn your palm back and reach back behind you. Tense your fingertips behind you. Lift up through the crown of your head and slowly begin to take a full breath in. And then as you exhale, feel your right ribs moving forward. You'll feel your left ribs wrapping back. Turn your head and look forward. Release any tension in your cervical spine. Bring your hands to your knees. We'll try the other side. Left hand to right thigh. Raise your right arm. Turn your palm back and reach back behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly start to move into your twist. Right ribs start to move back. Left ribs start to move away from your spine. 
Expose your throat a little bit, so lift your chin slightly. And breathe. Turn your head to look forward. Bring your body in line, spine in line, one vertebra on top of the other. Take your hands next to you as if your fingers were roots on the earth. Touch your fingers to the floor, keep your palms lifted. Roll your shoulders back. Feel like you could press yourself up, so feel some length. Turn your palms up and inhale, slowly bring your arms overhead. Exhale, rain them back down. Close your eyes if you'd like. Inhale, raise your arms up overhead. Exhale, rain your arms down. Last one, inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your palms to your chest. Keep lifting up and spreading your collarbones wide. Relax your hands to your knees. Soften your eyes, your eyelids. Soften the features of your face. And this is a good time to hear the Ujjayi breath. So it's a breath in keeping your lips closed, constrict your throat slightly and feel that ocean wave or Darth Vader sound moving through your ears. Draw your exhale out as long as you can. Lift your palms to your chest. Feel your structural body on your mat. And go beyond the skin. And tissues and ligaments and tendons and muscles and bones. And sometimes I think of where my thumbs rest, close to your heart center. Feel that person that is you, your unique wholeness and true identity. And the light that shines, always bright. Take a breath in. Let it out through your mouth. And chant Om with me. Inhale. Om. With thumbs pressed to our hearts, a kind heart from me to you. We honor each other with the word Namaste.
Hey, thank y'all. Thank y'all for being here for this short class today. If it's a weekend, have a lovely weekend, a weekday, have a great day. I'll see you soon.